degree, most of our students have either been on previous level twos or three media maker qualifications. So they've got that initial knowledge uh, behind them before they start at level four and five. Um, we also get students from photography, art or fashion because they have that creative flair behind them already. Um, so that can really help in our degree. We do quite a variety of different modules across the two years, so for the level fives for example they've just finished their advanced prosthetics um, module uh, which basically involves casting and prosthetic work and applying uh, pieces to the face. Uh, we also do wig work, uh, hair continuity in both men and women and we also do artistry skills which basically upskill students to get all of their freehand techniques and colours correct. So Media Makeup is really broad, so you could either specialise in bridal for example, uh, airbrush makeup, body art, you can also go into film and TV if you wanted to, uh, corporate branding ads, uh, you can do studio, photographic, macro work, um, so it's really really wide. Uh, there's also wigs and hair specialisms as well that you could also go into, so the possibilities are endless. Uh, retail jobs um, can vary in price, uh, but if you work up to HOD, which is obviously like head of department on like film or TV, um, your earning potential actually could be quite high, but it does take um, a couple of years to get there. Usually you start off as a trainee and then you would work up basically into that position and it does, does obviously take a number of years to do that, so it depends what field you want to work in. Uh, I managed to get a job on a, a film. It doesn't always work out that way. Um, also through word of mouth and previous tutors and things like that, I got work experience working in studios, which I've now been doing for over three years. And from that, I've ended up in four different studios. Um, the opportunities are there, but you have to go and find them and you have to network with a lot of people to do it. So we do a lot of advanced prosthetics um, and we do a lot of special effects so if you love the blood and gore then we definitely cover that. Um, we look at specific types of injuries. We see a lot of Instagrammers or YouTubers that basically will get some latex, put some tissue on and cover it in blood. That's not what we do. We will show you low grade materials which is like your latex and your gelatin and things like that but we also work with industry products which are your silicones and, and different materials like that um, which obviously they'll be using film and TV. Uh, we use a variety of different bloods. We get you to look at the injuries, how they've been caused, what type of burn, what type of bruise. It's really vast um, and it also ties in with your sort of pathology module as well. So it all interlinks, which is great. Uh, we get a lot of work experience as well. So previous students have done branding ads. They've also done uh, a lot of event work. So this morning live and worked with Skin Republic. We get Crawling to come in and they do a massive masterclass with this. So yeah, there's a lot of exciting stuff going on. Previously we had Neil Gorton come in. Um, a few people might know him. He did Judge Dredd, he worked on Ex Machina. Uh, Doctor Who is one of the main head prosthetic artists. Um, you might have heard of his event which is the prosthetic event and one of our students actually competed there um, so he came over and obviously um, congratulated her she was the only student to compete so it was pretty amazing